Outdoor Adventures with Keith Warren. This is a program about hunting. As such, it contains scenes which may not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Hunting and fishing expos are a great way to find out about all the new products and services that are out there for sportsmen. They're also ideal places to meet outfitters so you can learn about and book hunts. At the recent Texas-Mexico Hunting and Fishing Expo in Houston, I met up with an outfitter who told me about a great place to hunt exotic game. Lacoma is located in Hidalgo County. It's about 2,200 acres. We've got 23 species of game all together. Uh, the primary game that we hunt are white-tailed deer and the four common exotics, axis deer, fallow deer, black buck antelope, all dead sheep. We've got some endangered species that we're just breeding that we never will hunt. The major advantage to, to being in the exotic business is an additional source of income. Uh, you know, it, it allows us species that we can hunt in the off season other than whitetail. The disadvantages are, you know, you're going to increase competition with, with uh, the native species. I decided that I wanted to try to take a Japanese psycho deer, but before we started hunting in earnest, Rob and I took to the field and he gave me a walking tour of the Lacoma Ranch. They sure are a strange looking animal. They're wildebeest. Uh, these are white bearded. They're from East Africa. They're very similar to uh, the blue wildebeest, the common wildebeest from Southern Africa. Are those big ones? That's kind of an average bull, and the one on the left, the cow. They're not real popular on game ranches, but it, you know, it's something a little different, a little curiosity item. These are Gaur, G-A-U-R. They're the largest of the wild cattle. Uh, they're from India. One of the species that when tiger hunting was still available and popular, they were hunted incidental to tiger hunts. You don't really get a perspective for their size with them bedded down like that, but that, that bull will probably weigh 2,400 pounds. Wow. And do you hunt those? No. That's great. You have animals out here that you can hunt, animals that are off limits just to protect the species. Look at there. It's a set of axis deer antlers right here. But yeah, but this is a set here. <laughs> there we go. That's not a not a real big one, but well, if you had a cape now, you'd be in business. There you go. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna need to have a wheelbarrow to haul off all these antlers by the time we're done. <laughs> you can't tell the difference really between a cow and a bull. The cows generally have longer horns. A lot of the gimsbach that are killed in Africa are cows because of the horn length is generally longer on cows. What are they called? They're Arabian oryx. You don't hunt them, do you? No, no, they're not hunted at all. Shikar Safari Club instigated the program that saved the Arabian oryx from extinction. The buck on the far left is an eight point, which is a, a typical antler configuration for Saika. He's got real good point length, but he doesn't have much beam length. As a general rule, the exotic hunting is, is just what you make out of it. It can be just as easy or just as difficult as, as you want it to be. Well, these exotics had just made the hunt more difficult. I'm going after that psycho buck, and I'll also get caught sticking my hand where it doesn't belong. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that the Lacoma Ranch has nothing but exotic game on it. It also contains several species that are native to Texas, like the white-tailed deer and this little fella. Make sure there's not a rattlesnake in there. Got him! Look at that! <laughs> Got him! 
Yeah. Look at him. Boy, I'll tell you what, old Rob can put you on no telling what. I put him to sleep. He got bored with it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Here, let's put you down and watch him run. Okay, there he goes. See you later. Armadillos are interesting little critters, but he wasn't exactly what I was after. They have those psycho deer right there. Let's see if I can get the wind on them and keep that tree between us. Perfect shot, you see that? I mean, dropped him in his tracks, too. That is great. Okay, hold on a minute, I need to call Rob. Hey, Rob, I just shot a great big psycho deer. I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, it, I'm about 150 yards to the uh, south of this small stock tank over here and he's out here in this flat. I wound up, I sat up over here and knocked him down. So if you can come over here and help me out with him, I sure would appreciate it. Okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> Look at that, that was about 140 yards. And I mean, it dropped him in his tracks. Look at that, see? It's a perfect situation. We've got the sun right here, right over us. And what happened? That deer couldn't see me because of the sun. And I was hiding behind that tree, and the wind is perfect. Oh, what a beautiful buck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What an animal. Looky there. I'm sure, I'm sure he's dead, yeah. That's a beautiful animal, beautiful animal. Rob ought to be here just any minute. Is that him? That's him. Boy, that's a nice one. Tell you what, when I hit him, he fell like a sack of potatoes. That's the sack of buck I told you about. Good shot. Thank you, thank you. Look at that. Good shot. That's a nice sack. Four on each side. I like these points. The second point's got good length to it. Pretty. Yeah, that's a nice deer. For more information or to book a hunt on the Lacoma Ranch, give Rob Payne a call at area code 210-318-3978. This hunting and outdoor adventures tip of the week is brought to you by Miller High Life and your Texas Miller Beer Distributors. After you've had the opportunity to harvest a nice trophy animal, I'm going to take it and I'm going to take the taxidermist and put it on my wall, but I also like to have some good photographs. Now we're going to show you some little tips that will help you have better photographs of your animals. I like to photograph the animals from a, from a very low angle. Uh, you can put a good clean sky background behind them. The main thing you want to do is maintain the animal's dignity the whole time you're taking the picture. Make sure there's no blood showing, no, uh, no wounds visible not have the tongue hanging out of the mouth, make sure the hair is laid down and they're in a, in a good position where their legs are up under them on their brisket. Uh, you just want the animal to look dignified and like he's still alive. Holding just by his right antler. Very nice. Just watch out for his mama, huh? <laughs> Boy. And you know these things are they're kinda of, they're, they're kinda of cute like that. I am my own wife. Listen, listen. Talk to him. There you go. Let, 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 what if I could put him on an airplane with me and take him home? <laughs> Come on, you going home. Oh uh,